Hey y'all, it's Christy Cook from Tate Idols. I feel like it's been forever since I did a video, but I think I did two last week, didn't I? Hmm. I just haven't done a podcast in a minute. But I have been knee deep in making bags for my huge <laughs> shop update. Plus I had to stop a couple of times during that to make masks for family members. Um, anybody who's done that probably knows how that goes once one finds out. It just kind of trickles. <laughs> so, um, today I'm going to show you all the new bags I just put in the shop. Some of them have sold already, but um, I did do multiples of, a, of many things this time. Um, and every, just about every fabric, uh, every bag in this update had some kind of sewing theme on it. I had a bunch of that fabric. Which I had tended to do as part of last month's update, but that didn't happen. So, I'm calling this update my Ode to the Sew. So, I know there are many of us out there sewing, mostly masks currently, or other things. Uh, lots of making going on. Drinking my coffee today. I feel like I show this. I do have other mugs, and I do drink out of them, but if it seems like every time I record, I have this mug for some reason. <sighs> yeah, so I am, I'm just going to do, uh, this is going to be a bag uh, update. Uh, I will say, welcome new subscribers, and welcome back subscribers, subscribers, talking too fast. I'm happy to have you here. My maker shenanigans. Um, I like to do the sewing things, the yarny things, and the DIY things. So you'll see a little bit of all that on this channel. Um, if you like to make things, you may like it here. Um, yeah, so I'm a little behind this month already because May kind of snuck up on me. Anyway, this video is going to be about, I'm going to show you all the new bags I put in the shop. Um... And just so you know, I have removed my Maker Charms from the shop. You can still find them occasionally on zippered totes. Um, I'm thinking about doing something and maybe bringing those back in a different way. But we'll see about that. We'll talk about that at the end. First, let's take a look at all these fun bags that I put in the shop. I super wanted to keep some of these bags. But I didn't. <laughs> so... Um, First up, I had bought a whole half yard bundle of Tula Pink's new homemade line of fabric, which was awesome. And I was very happy to be able to, I pre-ordered it, so I was able to get a discount on it. And, you know, I have a, a price limit that I'll pay for a fabric per yard to keep me within my budget. <laughs> so, um, I was excited to be able to find that at a price where I could do bags for the shop. Um, although, when it came in and I saw it, I really wanted to keep it, but I didn't. I, I still get to keep all the, the little leftover bits, so <laughs> sometimes that's more fun. Um, so, I did, with this line of fabric, I did some mini maker bags, some maker bags with a drawstring, some maker bags with a zipper, and I did some zippered pouches. Uh, let's take a look at the mini maker bags. That's a really popular one. So, I have this print. These are these colors are all bright, so they're going to probably try to blow out the camera. But this is a fun print. You see the little sewing spool, the little hands with hearts. Uh, these are uh, needles with thread through them. You can see this is a pair of scissors and some thimbles in there. It's just a really fun overall print that um, you'll see more things the more you look at it. Uh, so, I have... I did this on my last mini maker bag club bags, mostly because I forgot to put them in the side, but because I was putting them on the side. So I decided to try it up here and I really like this. So you will see some bags in this uh, update with it up here and some with it on the side because I had sewn them before. But I think I really like it up here. It's more visible. Um, I don't know if anybody was actually using it for anything hanging off the side right there. Anyway. So, this bag has, uh, all these bags have a, the 
the solid print that came with it with the, the like rainbow sprinkles on it and this one has a green interior and these little tabs this ribbon I got off of, of the bundle <laughs> Fat Quarter Shop has a really cute ribbon that they put on their bundles and I utilize it for tabs um, that says cute it says uh, if you flip it over you can see the rest of it it says cute as a button so I tried to cut it where you could still see that but um just so you know all these mini maker bags are fully reversible right that is a bright green <laughs> so if you happen to want to turn it inside out for some reason you can still use it just the same drawstring will still pull um the mini maker bags I make them with at least a slight opening here so you can pull that really nice and snug and pull your yarn through here if you want to. These are great for sock projects and um, amigurumi, small amigurumi or a small embroidery project because I do intend these to be for all makers. Um, I have even had some people use it to hold notions. So, uh, so I have this print in this orange and orange and green. It's green on the inside. Orange and pink. For some reason, when I say orange or green, I can look at something and I know if it's orange or green, but I always I interchange the names for some reason. It's always been a bizarre thing to me, just like I just did. So, um, I have two. There are two of each of these. So, there's two in the orange colorway. And this is a nice aqua color. Now, the print is upside down on these bags, which you'll notice in the picture online. Uh, but I mean, it's obviously upside down, but it's not a print that it's like ruined the bag. I felt so. And this wrinkle fabric in here is a dark blue. And this one has, they, these are all different. I just pick them up randomly and it, what does this say? Cut. You. You from me. I don't understand what that means, but I like the little scissors. So, <laughs> so I have two in that colorway. I don't think, I don't know. There may have, some of them may have sold. I know I've sold some things since I put it, just updated the shop last night. So, um, I'm just going to say, if you see something you like, you may want to go ahead and get it. I never know how long things are going to last or not last. So, yeah. Um, all right, so then I also have it in this uh, pink and purple print. And that one has a gray rainbow sprinkle fabric on the inside. So there are two of each of those. And these are slightly wider than my standard ones, just because of the way I cut the fabric, since it was a um, half yard. Just a little bit wider, like maybe half an inch or something. So I put all the measurements for the bags in the description so I would take a look at that because these mini maker bags occasionally can vary by anywhere from half an inch to an inch depending on how I cut the fabric if I use it from leftovers or whatever it still usually has the same amount of space in it it's just usually oriented a different way if that makes sense okay so also from Disney these are my favorite um I had this this print which I really love it's hands this one has pink hands and orange hearts, or there's some with scissors, or that one has a thimble on the finger that looks like some tweezers or something, and I think this is a, a needle. Isn't that fun? And the bands on the top of this, they have a sparkle to them. You can see that a little bit, can't you? It has a gold sparkle to it. Um... On the inside is also a really fun print for these. This one is one you might want to turn inside out for sure. It has this really cool print that looks like vines or little dot vines with uh, safety pins caught all in it. I super love that. So there are four each of these bags. Okay. So I have... Four in that colorway, 
I have four in this colorway. This one's my favorite. I love these colors together. And then the interior matches. Let's say I have that. So there are four in that colorway. And then there's four in this colorway, which is a blue. Now the banding on this one is different. Well, this one has purple, but it has that sparkle to it still. And but this one has um, this cut so repeat uh, word bandings on it. This is a bright greeny yellow color and the matching print on the inside. So, so those I have I wound up with four each of, of those um, mini maker bags in that colorway. And then I did some pouches as well. Um, this is with the same print as the other mini maker bags. So I did part of them mini maker bags, part of them as pouches. And these are my, these are larger pouches, nice size pouches. The print is right side up on all of these. Um, I stitched it with just a squiggle line on my sewing machine and this yellow. I liked the contrast of it. Um, they all come with this maker charm. You'll focus. Come on, focus. It says love. Doesn't want to focus. I don't know why. Maybe if I close. There's nothing else to focus on the camera. It's very annoying. Okay. There we go. So it says love. It's upside down in here, but then it has a little star dangle with it. So. That's what's on all of the pouches in this update is that charm. So, um, yeah. And then on the inside would be the same uh, sprinkle material as you see there. And then I have the my label on the outside with a tab. I didn't put a D-ring on these, and I didn't put a ribbon tab on the inside. I don't know how useful that is with a zipper. Plus, it can interfere with the zipper when you do that. It just doesn't work out great. But these are very nice size little zipper pouch so I have it have two each in this colorway this colorway and the orange colorway okay and they all have the same interior as the um uh, the mini maker bags today the drawstring bags so all right I feel like this is not focusing on me now ah uh, this is my phone that I record with which I enjoy I feel like it works just as good as a fancy camera but I really need to upgrade my phone which won't happen until later on. <laughs> so, I also did some of my maker bags, which are this nice size drawstring bag. Whoop. Now, this, uh, I want to say, this twill is a little wider than what I usually use because I had to order it from a different place because the place I normally order my twill tape from uh, they have a notice on their thing that there is no more twill tape. Um, they can't make any more until their meal opens back up because they're out of Marietta, Georgia. So I'm hoping that they get reopened soon. I really enjoyed their twill tape <laughs> and the size that they had. So, but I had to order some so I would have it or I wouldn't have been able to make any more bags. Anywho, so these are also fully reversible. Um... And I've noticed, I don't know if it's because the, well, this one's doing fine. It seems like they were getting too snug in here, which may be because the thicker twill tape. But this is the inside. It has this really fun uh, print with a bunch of cutting utensils like a seam ripper and different scissors and rotary cutter there's some buttons on there and some little snippy snips um and then these have a full pocket along one side oh that's just gonna blow everything out this is that pink and purple uh with the little dot sparkle there are one two three yeah there's three skinny pockets in the middle which you could put hooks or pencils or something like that and then there's two larger pockets on each side 
and I've, this is something that I've been adding and I remember to put in these uh, this is a little a needle holder there's actually it's hard to see here because I did the black thread there's there's like what did I put one two three four five five little slots here you could put a darning needle in like the ones with the blunt ends they'll fit right down in there and then there's a little pocket here which you could put like a needle threader or something like that and then this is felt so you could put sharp needles in it if you wanted to to keep them in there so as you can use this for embroidery or other if you do like the hexes you know with your hand sew the paper english paper piecing uh this would be a great bag for that too so and then i have the d-ring at the top of these this got my little logo stamped on it. i don't think you can see that but this is great to just hang stuff on that you might want to hang stuff on <laughs> so that is uh my maker drawstring drawstring bag now this print is actually it looks like a bunch of swirly leaves but it has a measuring tape woven in between it just so awesome the way she does prints like that i love tulip pink's designs her fabrics so i have it in this colorway and then i have it in this colorway and the uh, interior is the same but in the blue tones um and then I have it in this color, which is a really pretty one. Um, it's got the pinks and purples and aquas. And then it has this. It has an orange tone to the, the tools inside. So, and they all have this pockets in either that purple or pink sparkly. And the band is the same as well. So, now. Let me get this. I keep these things in all plastic bins like this. Although I think I'm going to need more plastic bins after this update. Because I'm planning on going ahead and do the Mini Maker Bag Club next. But then I'm planning on going ahead and putting... Uh, how did I have this in there? That's not... Okay. Cutting out stuff for the next update. And hopefully having it ready in advance. We'll see how that goes. So now the last thing that I made with uh, the fabrics from the Tula Pink uh, are some zippered maker bags. And some of you may not have even seen these. I haven't made any in a while. I've been doing the drawstring quite frequently because it was popular. Um, so this is the same size as my drawstring one. But this is quilted. This is a wonderful print. There's a sewing machine in there. Even a little presser foot. And it's like the cord. You can see the plug sitting in the floral and I just did like a free form little double line around them uh, when I quilted it love this print um, these have a handle now I did wind up putting my label on the handle because of the way I did the d-ring inside I can't put it at the top because like I said it interferes with the zipper um, so I was trying to find an alternate place to put it and then I realized I didn't have a label so I wound up putting my label on the handle which I think turned out pretty neat um, but I don't know if I'll keep it that way um, this, these all do come with this fun charm that I made these are barrel beads. It's like a ceramic barrel bead with the little dots. I liked it because it matched the dots in the print. Um, and then I added this little swirly silver dangle to the side because of all the swirly vines and things on here. It just has a little silver bead at the top and bottom of the barrel. These, these bigger bags come with a 16 millimeter clasp while the smaller uh, zipper pouches come with a 12 millimeter clasp. So, these are the kind of maker charm I think I'm going to start doing if I add them back to the shop. They will be beaded ones that I make versus just the little charm ones, which I know some people like that. But they just don't sell frequently enough for me to keep them in the shop like that. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, so, we're going to unzip this. Now, the interior is much the same as the... Uh, drawstring maker bag it has the full pocket it does have the uh, needle felt and then I put the drawstring drawstring 
the D-ring on the front of the pocket in this one. I don't know if that's where I'll keep it. I used to put it in the side, but I think that was making it hard to get to. I don't know. Nobody said it was. It just seemed that way to me. Um, now, this print and these is like, it has a grid that reminds me of like a quilting ruler. That's, I'm thinking that's probably what that comes from. Um, and then in the middle, it has little uh, like buttons and uh, scissors and needles and safety pins and little tiny sewing machines. Uh, and this one is a pink grid with orange center. So I have it in this color, this purpley one. Now these do cost more than drawstring because there's a little more that goes into it, obviously, with the little side handle and the zipper and the charm, and it's quilted. <laughs> so they, they do cost a little more than the drawstring one. Um, and then I have it in this uh, mint green colorway. They all have the same charm on them, and then it has the aqua and pink gridded thing. Now... It's either this one or this one that's already sold in the shop. I don't remember which one. One of these has already sold. But I had this blue one. And it has a very bright green uh, color in there, which I really liked. So, those are my zippered maker bags. So, there's still a maker bag. My standard maker bag is what the drawstring and then I have a zippered version which like I said is a little more than the um so these are $30 and 50 cents I've added the 50 cents to most of the bags because I made improvements across the board just slight improvements that's why I added the 50 cents uh the drawstring ones are $20 and 50 cents um mini maker bags are $8 and 50 cents um, the prices are all listed on in my shop, but I figured I would just tell you since I'm doing this. All right, that's all the things I made with that half yard bundle from uh, Tula Pink's New Line Homemade, which I super love. Okay, so next we're going to look at some of these. These are kind of the reason I add the star part to the love. The love is because I love sewing. The star part is because a lot of these have stars in the prints. Even the two little pink ones, there's some little crisscross stars in the print. So these are more, even more star themed, but with a sewing theme combined, okay? <laughs> so I have this fun print here, which it has fun uh, sayings on it that could relate to other crafts, but in the background you're gonna see scissors and thimbles and buttons and safety pins. Um, but it says, uh, I don't think I'm going to read it. Don't just dream it, make it. And this one says, let your soul shine. And it says, enjoy the little things. And let's see on the other side, we've got crafters going to craft and do it yourself or DIY. And uh, what's another one? Makers got to make. So it just has a bunch of fun little things. And then it looks like the night sky behind it to me. Um, I paired this with a fun pink, uh, it looks like little raindrops in different colors across it print because it was such a dark print. Um, and on the inside of this is, this is a very pale yellow. I don't know if you're even gonna be able to see anything going on on this. Can see the stars it's a star print and all those little dots are actually a gold shiny gold which is probably gonna show up on here but that's what's on the inside of that i think i had just two of these um two mini makers and that print and then i had two in the maker drawstring maker okay so it's you can see more of the print. So you can see a sewing machine in the center of some of it. Um, there's all kinds of fun things on here. Fun sayings and stuff. You can see more of it on the bigger bags. Um, and then the inside of this has that same uh, pale yellow star fabric. And uh, the pocket, just like the others, with your little needle thing. Okay? And it matches the trim at the top. So this one. See, this is one that did very strangely. See this? This is hanging out good over here. This one 
looks too short. I cut all these the same size. I don't know what's going on with that. I mean, you can still use it. It's just, I think it's, I think it's that twill tape. I'm going to blame it on the twill tape. <laughs> uh, so, that's, that's all I had in that print was I had the um, two in that maker size and then two in the, the mini maker size. So, I'm trying to put these up as I show them so that I don't have to do that at the end. Y'all like seeing that, don't you? <laughs> All right. So then, my next print, I have a couple of different things. Actually, I think the two little pouches have sold out. But, um, and I think I just have one tote left in this print. But this is, um, it's like constellations. But it's an iron and a thimble and a sewing machine. And uh, that there's some scissors and a rotary cutter. So the stars are making up sewing supplies which I thought was really fun so this is a tote and this time all my totes I just did this uh, cotton webbing for the handles it was just easier because I had so many totes um, sometimes I will make my handles from fabric um, but I just like I said I had a bunch of totes so I decided to go <laughs> make it easier on myself still a nice handle um, this one on the inside now if you're part of the Mini Maker Bag Club, you may recognize this print. The top banding on the Mini Maker Bag Clubs, it was in the same print, but in purple. Okay? The blue was not in those bags. Okay? I had ordered both, because I could only get so much yardage of both, of each. And I thought I might have to use both. But I didn't. So, I had all this fabric that I needed to use. So, I used it for this. And it looks, oh, it just makes it look like a galaxy in there, doesn't it? There's little dots and stars down in there so pretty and this one also has a pocket now this has uh five five skinny spots and then two larger pockets on each end and it does have the needle pad i guess is what i call it, a needle pad so i did the fold over top on this so the inside comes to the outside which i do love unfortunately i did not think about where my label was inside so both of these the label is coming over to the outside a little bit but I don't think that looks too horribly bad and it does have a d-ring there I used to put them just right at the top but I felt like they didn't stay down that great so that's why I started putting them under the label and I think that just works great for some of the bags so and then on the bottom of this as a a cotton canvas ticking type fabric in a blue um, so I know one of I believe I believe there's only one of these totes left so um, and this is a canvas this, the print on the outside is a canvas um, it's uh, a nice I was excited to find it when I found it with that fun print and at the price I found it at. So then I had a, um, this is my newest design. I only put one in the shop. So that's all I could get done. But I loved this so much. I wanted to keep it. Usually I do keep my prototypes. But it turned out so great I didn't do that. So this is my new Mega Maker Tote. I've been talking about. Um, it was just a tote. I did put the strapping. Goes all the way to the seam. All the way up. So it's very sturdy. Uh, the strapping so it has long handles I went with the same drop as I put on my other ones might be too long for some people it would be perfect for me but um, it is just an open tote but if you open it up all the way it does stay open by itself for the most part it works better when you fill it up with stuff of course and this one does have this fun print that has its little thread spools and scissors. And then here is, there is a full pocket along one side. And it has, I don't know, five uh, little slots. And then it has some smaller slots on either side and the bigger slots at the end. And then you get this uh, D-ring under my label. I offset it to keep it from being over 
the skinny slots because they tend to put taller stuff in those little slots to keep it from interfering with it, hopefully. Um, yeah, this is a massive tote, y'all. <laughs> this is like something you could put an Afghan uh, project in, a huge sweater coat project in, um, if you wanted to keep some parts for a quilt you're making in there, quilt tops in there, it would be fun for that. Uh, this has already sold, um, but I will be making more of these. This is my uh, uh, the newest addition to my Mega Maker bag line. So I have a Mega Mega. I did that every time. I have a Mega Maker bag that I do, which is the same size as the bottom of this, but there's a six inch extension at the top. It has a corded drawstring in it, like a cord rope, a cotton rope drawstring in it. it has the full pocket. Um, it has, instead of having like this, it has a handle that goes off the side like that. It's like a duffel bag kind of looking thing. And the outside of that is a really heavy weight fabric and I quilt the inside of it. Okay. So it's, it's a little more than this bag is. And this bag I put for, uh, 4550, I believe is what I put in there because it's, it is canvas, it's quilted, it has the huge pockets, it's a huge bag, y'all. So, um, I also have a traveling maker tote, which I have, have I ever put one in the shop? I don't think so, I think I've only made those special orders so far. But it is the same size body as this, but it has a zippered top. It will have handles, and I usually do multiple fabrics across like a heavy duty it's like a purse y'all it's a huge purse um it has the big handle the big zippers it has pockets all on one side and on the other side it has an inserted zipper pocket okay so it, it's like a purse i just i would like to make more of them i just haven't ah uh, they take a long time to make i have one in process over there that never got made so anyway this is my new mega maker tote it's something I can do that's a big tote that I can do a little quicker than the other two, right? Which people do like the other two as well because they like either the drawstring or the zipper or something like this open window. So I will be putting more of these in here. I actually have some uh, fun waterproof fabrics over there because I was thinking it would make a great tote for the beach. But I don't think many people are going to be going to the beach. So... Uh, anyway, it'll be just, it'll be fun. So that is, <laughs> that one's already sold. Like I said, I have, I think one of these totes left in there. And then I did the zippered pouches, right? Um, you can't see as much of the print on them, but I had a little bit left over. It has that same love and that same fun print in there. But I think both of these have sold. I'm not completely sure. So you'll have to check the shop. So. That's all of that. This is going on longer than I expected. But you know what? I had a big update. So my next little set of bags I made with sewing pun fabric. I saw this fabric and I thought it was so much fun. And I had to get some of it. So I have, I have totes in two different sizes. And please check the listing because I did take a picture of the front and the back of each bag. And some of them have... About three different panels, and they are slightly different in the coloring is all. One had, two had white backgrounds on the grid, but one had more of an aqua tone to it than the other, and then one had blue background in the grid. So, I took a picture of both sides so you could see what puns are included, because they're not all the same for each bag. And, uh, so please just, just take a look at that when you check it out. Now, see, I have, a uh, I have six of these. See, that's why I said I did a lot of these totes. I wound up with six this size tote. This is just a wee bit wider than my standard tote. And these totes are $25.50. Um, so, look at these. Aren't they so much fun? So much fun. I love a good pun, y'all. So, you got the needles, a tumbling block. So cool. Don't cross me, which is like cross stitch. <laughs> the Bermuda Triangle, pen and tonic, 
block party, uh, thread of the glass. Now, some of these did get caught in the seam a little bit, the words, but I think you can read most of them still because I did, I was, didn't want to cut corners out of the print, so I added this uh, canvas. This is a canvas, it's like a gray and white just canvas. Um, there's just so much, you just have to take a look at all of them. I'm not going to read all of them. They're all so fun. And this is a nice tote. Um, this one has this fun grapey gingham in it. And this, I love how this turned out, y'all. Look at this floral with this grape. It's so pretty. Well, that's a standard thing. It does have the needle pad down in there. So I have two with that same interior. So the exterior will be slightly different depending on what puns in the panel got put in there when I cut it out. So I have two with that interior. I have two with this interior. Wait a minute, no, um, here we go. See, this one has a blue grid in the background. So I have two with this interior. This is fun. This makes me look, feel like I'm looking at a sky full of, uh, um, fireflies i'll get it out of it so they, they all have that floral print but they're slightly different interior lining of the floral print i love this it just makes you look like you're looking into a night sky i love it so that's in the inside of two of them and i didn't get one of the other ones i have two with a uh, more tannish interior i didn't grab one of those i didn't think about it and then I have three bags that I had, see those are four, four blocks across and three down. And these are only three by three. So I decided to make totes with them. Now these are kind of tall and narrow. Um, you can, they stand out by themselves though. Um, you can see, you can still put stuff down in there. But they're a very tall and narrow tote because they're the same height as the other ones. They're just. They're a lot shorter. So they do still have um, the D-ring and the full pocket in there. It's a little bit different because it was a shorter thing. And it does have the needle pad on it. So they're just a narrow tote. I had three like this because I had it left from three panels. They all have that same color interior. I think the pockets are slightly different for, for one of them. So... There is that. This one. Packing this one's going to be fun because the handles don't want to fold like the other ones do because it's so narrow. So then I had bought uh, this print, which has those puns on it plus more, but in a toss. I had thought I'd line those bags with it, but I was like, this is too fun to put on the inside of a bag. So <laughs> I made, I think I have three. I made three. I don't know if there's three left in the shop of this print. Just the fun puns all over. I love the blue. So I paired it with an orange because I really liked the contrast. And this has a shimmer to it, a silver shimmer. It's hard to see on camera, but it does. And then you have the orange on the inside. And these two, again, have the, the D-ring just at the top. And the pocket matches the banding. And then you can see the, the needle pockets better in this one. Because I used a yellow thread on it. So. <clears throat> so I have three in the maker bag size. And then I have, I think I wound up with six of these mini makers. So they have the same uh, fabric on the inside. Um. I went with six of the Mini Maker bags in that same print. And then I had a little bit of fabric left over. You know, I have so many fabric leftovers, it's not even funny. So I did some little flat zippered pouches. Um, wasn't really big enough to do the box bottom on. Uh, so I just did these flat. They have the same love and star charm. You see on all the pouches. And this, but these have... Uh, Oh, this is going to be hard to see. It's like a peach, but it has like brush strokes of a lighter peach on the fabric. So, that is everything I made in that 
colorway. And then I have three more totes, which these are ones that were supposed to go in with my other fabrics, but I never got them finished. But I haven't finished now. So you've seen these fabrics before. This is from that line of Maker Fabrics I bought. This one has paint brushes on it. And I put it with this fun, it is a bright yellow, almost chartreuse, corduroy, fine well corduroy with printed stars on it, which I love. I still have some of it left, so you'll see more. I've done some bags with this on it. I just love it. <laughs> so these all have that fun uh, starry night print on the inside. And they, of course, have the full pocket. I did the raindrop print in this one. So I just have one of each colorway of this. So I have one with the paintbrush. I have one with all the, the maker supplies. This was a popular one last time. Um, and now this one has a purple and pink pocket in it. Uh... I have one with the sewing machine print on it and thread spools and scissors. Uh, the pocket's purple with the pink top and this one. And then I also have this one, which has like, it's like a paper making print because it has envelopes with fun prints and tags and it even has some seed packets on there so it's like a gardening envelope type print um now this one does have a different interior it has this has that peachy print like i did in those other pouches and it has that fun orange uh print so okay that is everything <laughs> can't believe that took me 42 minutes to get through but i wanted to tell y'all some more and for those who haven't um aren't as familiar with my bags um, i did a video a while back where i talked about the different bags and the sizes and i had a pdf with price lists but i need to update that so um i will uh, i'm gonna work on that and i'll have it in the shop as well and i'm gonna try to start linking it down below um my videos once I get it updated so I super hope y'all love I super hope what kind of mess was that let me drink some coffee so I can say something right I just wanted to say I hope y'all love all the new bags as much as I do it did take me forever to get through this stack I mean there was a lot of bags this was I think about somewhere between 50 and 60 bags which I do 50 bags for the Mini Maker Club every month. But they're all the Mini Maker bags. So they're all the same. It's not, these all were different. Some were quilted. There were a lot of quilted ones, actually. And they had pockets and zippers, you know, all that stuff. It's more time consuming. But I'm hoping this gives me a little bit of a head start so then I can update more regularly and keep things in the shop. Instead of it being so empty, because there was not there was not a bag in the shop when I went to update. Ah, so, um, yeah. So, like I said, if I do start adding back any kind of charms, it'll be like the beaded ones. I don't know. Is anybody interested in that? Oh, the dog scared me. There's an airplane outside. He can hear. What's he gonna do for an airplane? I don't know. I've had my big dog before. When we've been in the yard. I know she can't hear the airplane, but I'm thinking maybe she can feel the vibrations. But if she sees it in the sky, she'll try to jump at it. It's hilarious. Anyway, um, so if you have any questions about the bags, please let me know. I do not currently take custom orders or anything like that. I used to do what I called special listings where when I show you my fabrics, people say, hey, I really want this kind of bag with this fabric. But I still have some people on the list from that that I need to make bags for. Because I don't ask for, I didn't ask for money up front or anything like that. Because I didn't know when I would get to them. So I haven't forgotten about y'all. I just don't do that anymore because it came too much for me to keep up with. Um, so, so, uh, yeah. I, is there anything else I want to talk about this? No, I don't think so. 
uh, like I said, uh, you can check out the shop. The link will be down below to my Etsy shop. If you're just looking in Etsy for my shop, it's pretty easy to find as long as you type in the T dottles correctly. Just make sure you're spelling it correctly. Some people try to spell it as T doodles, which it is not. <laughs> T doodles would have the two O's and one D at the end, whereas T doodles has one O and two D's at the end. So um, it, it's it's a little easier to find than some of the other shops because for some reason on Etsy, when you have a shop name, you cannot put spaces in the name, which I've always thought was a bizarre thing. Luckily for me, I just have the one name, so I didn't have to worry with that. But that just seems why. Why Etsy? Why can't you have spaces in your name? That makes no sense. Anyway. <laughs> so, I'm today I've been doing some things online. And I'll talk about that later in video. So, I'm going to do some more videos today. So, for my next few videos, you'll probably see me in this shirt, which is fabulous. Anyway, it says Hooked. I gotta remember who I got this from because this is like my favorite shirt. Not just because I like what it says because it's very comfortable. I don't remember where I got it from. So I would like some more with maybe something different on it just because they're comfortable. Um, yeah. All right, I'm gonna let y'all go because this is supposed to be all about the bags. I don't need to get into everything else. I'll do that in another video. But I hope y'all are having a life uh, lived creatively and I will see y'all next time. Bye.